Morning. Please refer to playoff games tonight. You get the uh, the Toronto crowd. You come down here to the hostile environment and, and win. What's the whole experience been like so far? Yeah, it's been great. Um, anytime you're you're in uh, the playoffs for yeah any league when I was in the American League or even here, it's just obviously an upper scale. But it, it's a lot of fun. It's it's intense. It's uh, fast hockey and and it's rough and it's kind of right up my alley. So I've been enjoying it. What's it been like coming back, getting thrown into the fire after a bit of a layoff? Obviously. Yeah, obviously my injury didn't come at uh, the greatest time, and I felt like I was you know I was in my game right before I was I got hurt, but. You know, it's just an adjustment time, and I got to get back to my game and get back to you know what was bringing me success throughout the whole year. And um, I feel like I haven't gotten to that yet in uh, in the playoffs so far. But uh, today's a new day, and uh, I'm looking forward to tonight's game. When you're on the road and you hear the booze personally, <laughs> do you feed off that? Yeah, it's it, it's it, it's energy. Um, just it's it's fun to you know it's fun playing at home and it's also fun playing on the road. To, you know to be the bad guy in the rink and stuff like that. So um, yeah, you just gotta you gotta find energy anywhere you can in the playoffs and and build off that. So it's pretty fun. Alex Kerfoot's sort of a Swiss Army knife in this team. What do you appreciate about his game since you've gotten to play with him? I'm not sure how much you knew about him before. Yeah, footy footy off the ice to begin with is an unreal guy and. Uh, he's a get, great guy around the room, and yeah, he, he's been uh, yeah Swiss Army knife uh, all year for us. I think he's. I was talking to him. I think he's ha, has only not played one position. I think it was like fourth line right wing or something like that. Other than that, he he's been yeah or goalie. Yeah, exactly. But no, Footy's great. He's, he's an unbelievable hockey player. He's reliable out there, and, and he's and he's offensive as well. So he he's a big part of our team. Michael, it's it's Mother's Day today, and I'm just wondering, you know, what your mom's meant to you and allowing you to chase your dreams. Yeah, uh, happy Mo uh, Mother's Day, Mama Dukes. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Too bad I'm not there, but um, yeah, no, she's she's been uh, you know my rock um, from yeah day one. She's she's been great supporting me throughout my whole life of uh, getting me to this to to the NHL, and she sacrificed a lot in her life to you know put my uh, my sports first. So uh, I can't thank her enough. Have you talked to her today? Will you before the game? Yeah, I, I gave her a call this morning uh, to you know wish her happy happy Mother's Day. So. What does she think of all this? Like, in the playoffs, <laughs> you know, this is... Yeah, she's excited. Um, she's nervous. Uh, I think there's a whole bunch of emotions going through her, and uh, but she's, she's watching every single game, and I'm sure uh, barely can watch, but uh, she's, she's really enjoying this whole experience. You said during the year that you embraced being that kind of agitator role. When you, do you look at the guys like Corey Perry, who's been in the league a lot, and just the way that he goes about doing it? Uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't really watch other people doing it, but I, obviously Perry has been um, doing it for a very long time in this league. He's been, he's, he's won a cup. He's, he's done pretty much everything you can do in this league. So, uh, but yeah, no, I kind of stick to, to my own game and, and kind of play my own role, my own role, and and do the things that uh, find me success as well. So, uh, yeah. There's a lot of creativity on this team. No matter what line you play on, is it you know are you adapting kind of head on a swivel sort of thing? Because sometimes. Yeah. Mitch or whatever you don't know he makes something out of nothing or you're, you know there's plays all over the place you got to be alert I guess to yeah uh, yeah absolutely uh, I'm playing with yeah Blackie and uh, uh, Spets tonight and you know they're both really good players um, Blackie buzzes all around the place and four checks and retrieves box and Spets has been uh, an exceptional player in this league for a very long time so I'm, I'm excited to play play with them tonight and I think uh, you know we just got to win every single shift and, and bring it so uh, I think it's going to be good of playing in the whistles, but how do you ride the line of, of playing your game, the physical element afterwards, and what might get called, what might not get called? Especially? Yeah, you got to be smart. Um, obviously, play as hard as you can during the during the whistle, and you, you know, play physical and, and stuff like that. But there, yeah, that there's definitely a line after the whistle because you don't want to be, uh, you know, getting a penalty after the whistle or something like that, and putting them on the power play because you know, power plays are huge in the power um, in the playoffs and. Uh, yeah, so you definitely have to ride that ride that line of not going over and not letting your emotions get the best of you. And I feel like we've done a pretty good job of that. Michael, I know that you grew up watching Darcy Tucker. I talked to Tucker. He said that he's a fan of you now. What does it feel like to have a guy you idolize say something like that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I grew up in that era of watching the Tucker, Domi, Sundin. And, they were all my yeah, favorite players. I, I love watching the Leafs um, growing up. So, yeah, for Tucker to say that, you know, I was a fan of his growing up all the way. And for him to be a fan of me is, is pretty cool. So, 
obviously I'm I'm doing something doing something right, so hopefully I, I can keep that going. Through your first through the three postseason games, what have you learned about playoff hockey? Uh, it's fast, it's intense. Um, there's not a lot of as much time out there as the regular season, but there is more time than you you think. But uh, yeah, it, and it's just fun. It's so much fun. The emotions are so high at all all the time. There's so much at stake. So um, playoff hockey is is fun, as I said, and, and I love it. So um, I'm looking forward to tonight's game. You said getting back to your game. What is it? Just getting a step quicker after being out, or what? What exactly? Yeah, I think it's just yeah, getting being quicker, um, having confident confidence with the puck, making plays, and that's what I've done all all season long is is make those plays and and produce and. And also get get in, in the four check, retrieve pucks, and and create space for my line mates. So I, I got to get back to that, and I'm very confident in my ability to do that.